Hey guys, it's Jim. Thanks for tuning in and coming back. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well wherever you may be. And today I'm going to talk about noise reduction. There is a noise reduction filter in Luminar, so I should clarify, I'm talking about Luminar. Um, there is a noise reduction filter in Luminar and you probably use it and that's awesome. I use it all the time and I like it. Um, but there's other ways to kind of reduce noise or at least, at least give the perception of reducing noise. And so I want to talk about that as well. And I also want to clarify that uh, when I do these videos, I generally come at this from the point of view of, of art. Um, that's probably the best way to say it. The difference being is that I don't come at it from a highly technical, you know, here's the science behind it kind of thing. Uh, I'm going based on look, which I consider the art as opposed to process, which um, or the techie bits behind what's happening and why, which is more of the technical piece. And so I just wanted to clarify that because in talking about noise reduction, for me, um, I'm sure there's people out there that are going to say, well, you're not really talking about noise or that doesn't really do the same thing as what you're talking about in the examples I'm going to give. So, and I don't know why I did that voice like her. Um, I guess I think of hecklers doing it that way or something. I don't know. I don't want to start rambling you have better things to do than to listen to me ramble. So let me talk about noise reduction. So basically for me, the way I look at noise reduction is you're basically smoothing out the photo or parts of the photo. The beauty of Luminar is that you can, of course, selectively apply things. And so let me jump into this photo and we'll start talking about that, okay? So here's a photo. Now I uh, added a preset and made some adjustments to it. Basically, the photo started like that. And me being a fan of color, I made it like that. So um, what I want to do though is kind of dive into the sky. Now I shot this with an older camera a number of years ago and I'll admit it's not particularly noisy. It's not a crunched up, nasty, messy sky. That's okay. There's some noise to my eye. I hope that you can see it otherwise this video is going to be kind of dumb. Um, but you know let me zoom in a little bit more. So you know there's kind of just some noise. Um, what I consider not smooth parts of the photo. And this is kind of where the art and the techie bits kind of are going to perhaps start to differ, okay? That's a little bit noisy to me, but that's probably fairly common for a lot of digital cameras, all right? Anyway, so I built the photo, excuse me, I, I applied a preset and made a, a few adjustments to it so that I come up with the, um, the, the photo there, right? So before, after. Now, the next thing I did is I went and added a layer, and there's really four different things that I, I know of. Now, there may be more, but there's four that I use, um, really two that I primarily use, but four that I think you can use to give the appearance of reducing noise. And there's four different filters. The first is denoise. There's also structure, details enhancer, and soft focus. So let me dive into that and talk about it. So let me get over here to this um, bit of sky. And really for me, as I said earlier, it's about smoothing out the photo and you can apply all this selectively with brushes. I'm not gonna do that. This is not a masking or brush tutorial. I just wanna talk about noise reduction. So for me, I'm the, I'm the kind of photographer that I like really smooth skies, unless I'm going for an amped up, kind of crunchy looking, maybe drama overly dramatic, HDR kind of, you know, ah, kind of look, which I'm not going for. A sunset like this, I want a smooth sky. I want it to be peaceful and serene and beautiful. So I've got the colors looking how I want them to look. Um, and then it's just a function of using the filter. So denoise, there's really two kinds, um, or there's two filters. There's luminosity, which has to do with the light value, and then there's color noise, right? And then there's a boost slider, so you can just basically just jack it up, make it more intense, right? So for most um, images, I find that luminosity works great. If you can see the before and after, whoops, that's gonna do the whole photo. Let me just turn off the filter. There's the before, right? A little bit of grain, a little um, crispy, I guess, in the sky, and then after. Um, you can just tell, hopefully, that it's a whole lot smoother. And you can boost it to make it even dreamier if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, color, I, I rarely get much out of the color filter. I don't see a whole lot of color noise. I usually see more luminosity noise, but that's item number one, and that's kind of the basic way you do it, and that's probably the way 99% of us do it, uh, including me, 99.9% .9 of the time. And it works great, as you can see. So I'm gonna reset that. Um, the second filter is structure. Now, you think of structure as doing this, where you drag it to the right and you amp up the details, 
but you don't have to drag it to the right. As you can see, it, it's set in the middle. So if you drag it to the left, you just made your photo smoother. Um, you can take softness up or down, right? Um, if you go down and then hit boost, basically, you've just got a really smooth photo. And so let me show you the before. Here it is, turning off that filter. You can see a little bit of grain and noise, and I don't want to confuse those two. To me, they're kind of similar, but they're not the same. But I sort of, in a sky, I don't want any grain, just like I don't want any noise. So to me, they're kind of the same thing, at least as it relates to a sky. There are going to be film people that say, no, that's not true, and that's cool. I understand what you're talking about. But for me, I want a smooth sky. So whatever it is, I don't want it in the sky. So structure, I'm basically, if you go negative 100, leave the softness at zero and go boost to 100, you get a really smooth sky. So it's kind of the same as noise reduction because what noise reduction does, it's basically smoothing out the pixels. And um, that's why it makes your photo kind of blurry. And that's also why you want to mask in noise reduction to specific parts of your photo, like the sky or maybe water. If you did a long exposure or something, you're trying to make it extremely smooth. That's a great way to do it because um, what you don't want to do is remove detail from other parts of the photo. So uh, other parts of the photo would be like uh, the rocks and that sort of thing. And, and you know, you could brighten those if you wanted to. Let me go back to 100. But um, the point is be selective about noise reduction because otherwise it, it's just a constant battle between how much detail do I preserve and how much smoothness do I get. And that's the beauty of the masking tools in Luminar. So number one, a denoise, which is obvious. Number two, negative structure. That's a great thing. I also have used that, I don't shoot portraits really, but I've done a couple of portrait videos for Skyloom, uh, like in the original Luminar launch, like, you know, almost two years ago. I did a few portrait videos and I use negative structure to smooth skin. It's a great similar kind of thing. All you're doing is smoothing out the photo. So that's number two. Details enhancer, same kind of idea as structure. Um, I would take small and medium details and just go to the left and that just smooths them out. So instead of going this way to the right, uh, and you can see it gets really nasty really quick, um, I would just take them to the left. Um, I don't really see a lot, especially in the sky. I don't see a lot of large detail, so I stick with usually with small and medium, and they smooth it out really well. The protection slider, uh, if you just drag that to the right, it basically protects the highlights. And since it's a sky that I'm smoothing, there's a lot of highlights in the sky, so basically what it does is it makes that impact lessened on the highlights. So I actually don't think I would use protection. I think I'd leave that at zero because it gives me that smoother look across the highlights, which again are dominant in the sky. And then masking, it basically divides the photo into zones of amplification so that the details that you may be uh, increasing can be amplified in different zones. So masking defaults to 50. If I go to uh, zero, it stays pretty smooth. If I take it all the way to the right, which would be 100, then I'm saying, you know, mask a lot of the zones. So in, in, in other words, don't amplify, don't do as much with the sliders as I did. Um, and so again, I would leave masking at 50 or maybe consider taking it down to get that smoothness. And that's detail enhancer, which is number three. And the last one, and admittedly this last one, which is soft focus, it doesn't work as well as the other three. I think I did these in the order in which I would use them on my photo. I would definitely use denoise as my primary, and if I wanted something more or something different, I might try structure and then detail enhancer. I think soft focus would be a last resort, but let me show you. You just drag it to the right. Now notice there's two options for soft focus. You have number one and number two. It does brighten the photo. So if you go like that, it's softening the look of the photo, but it's also brightening it. So bring that brightness slider back down. And let me show you the before. Uh, there we go. You can see there's a little bit more uh, grain or grit in the sky, noise if you will. And now um, with the filter applied, there's less of it. But soft focus number two is actually a darker implementation. And so you could go a little bit higher and not have as much brightness. And let me show you how the photo looks. Right, uh, it's a smoother kind of sky. There's the before, right? You can see it, you can kind of tell, and the after. Now again, that's being applied across the whole photo. To me, that looks really good in the sky. It's too much for the water, and you know, I basically shot a silhouette here, and so I didn't go try to brighten up these, uh, these sea stacks that are out there, but 
Um, let me go back to 100%. Uh, focus on the sky, but soft focus looks pretty good. And it's basically what has it done? It's softened the focus, which is, you know, basically blurring the uh, blurring the look, right? So um, that's kind of how it works. And um, that's four different ways for looking to reduce the detail, soften up your photo, and create a a, a softer, sort of smoother look, which to me is kind of what I think of as noise reduction. So. I'm sure that there's people that are highly technical that are going to say, Jim, that's not exactly true. And you know what? You're probably right. And you know what else? I don't really care. No offense, but the point is, for me, denoise is about creating a smooth sky. And these are ways of smoothing and softening up the focus in specific areas of the photo. In this case, the sky. And that's why I use it that way. And that's what I mean by that. So that's it for noise reduction, my friends. I hope you find this helpful. If you did, please share with your friends, subscribe like the video, and don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have other ideas, share those as well. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, and adios.